A kenning is a type of circumlocution, in the form of a compound that employs figurative language in place of a more concrete single word noun. Kennings are strongly associated with Old Norse and later Icelandic and Anglo-Saxon poetry. They usually consist of two words, and are often hyphenated. For example, Old Norse poets might replace s for a degree, the regular word for a euro or s or a euro, with a more abstract compound such as a euro o and ho a euro, or a genitive phrase such as randa a ss a euro o is of shields a euro. The term kenning has been applied by modern scholars to similar figures of speech in other languages too, especially Old English. Etymology the word was adopted into English in the 19th century from medieval Icelandic treatises on poetics, in particular the prose Edda of Snorri Sturluson, and derives ultimately from the Old Norse verb kenna euro o no, recognize, perceive, feel, show, teach, etc. A euro, as used in the expression kenna var degree a euro o eto name after. To express, one thing in terms of, another a euro a euro o we name after. Refer to in terms of a euro, and ken a till a euro o we qualify by, make into a kenning by adding euro. The corresponding modern English verb to ken survives only in highly remote English dialects, other than the derivative existing in the standard language in the set expression beyond only a euro unregistered trademark s ken, a euro o e beyond the scope of only a euro unregistered trademark s knowledge a euro and in the phonologically altered form uncanny, a euro e surreal a euro or a euro a supernatural a euro. Modern Scots retains Thai ken. Old Norse kenna is cognate with Old English senan, Old Frisian kenna, kenna, Old Saxon kenyan. Old High German Chenin, Gothic Kanjan Proto Germanic Kanjanin, originally causative of Kunin and a Euro Oeto no a Euro, whence modern English can to be able. Structure Old Norse kennings take the form of a genitive phrase, or a compound word. The simplest kennings consist of a base word and a determinant which qualifies, or modifies, the meaning of the base word. The determinant may be a noun used uninflected as the first element in a compound word with the base word constituting the second element of the compound word. Alternatively the determinant may be a noun in the genitive case, placed before or after the base word either directly or separated from the base word by intervening words. Thus the base words in these examples are far kr and ma a euro o steed a euro, the determinants bar ru a euro o wave a euro unregistered trademarks are euro and kja lfr a euro us a euro. The unstated noun the kenning refers to is called its referent, in this case, skip a euro or ship a euro. In Old Norse poetry either component of a kenning could consist of an ordinary noun or else a haiti a euro or a poetic synonym a euro. In the above examples, far kr and mar are distinctively poetic lexemes. The normal word for a euro o e horse a euro in Old Norse prose is h-e-s-t-r. Complex kennings the schools also employed complex kennings in which the determinant, or sometimes the base word, is itself made up of a further kenning, green e gun ma s a euro o f eder of war gul a euro equals a euro o f eder of raven a euro equals a euro o l r e a euro. B a degree endrana h u n g r s a euro e destroyers of eagle a euro unregistered trademark s hunger a euro equals a euro o f eders of eagle a euro equals a euro o l r e a euro. Where one kenning is embedded in another like this, the whole figure is said to be chvar kent a euro o e doubly determined, twice modified a euro. Frequently, where the determinant is itself a kenning, the base word of the kenning that makes up the determinant is attached uninflected to the front of the base word of the whole kenning to form a compound word, ma paragraph g felon d melu a euro u as slayer of giantess a euro equals a euro u e slayer of sons of giantess a euro equals a euro u e slayer of giants a euro equals a euro o f god thor a euro. If the figure comprises more than three elements, it is said to be rake a euro o e extended a euro. Kennings of up to seven elements are recorded in skaldic verse. Snorri himself characterizes five-element kennings as an acceptable license but cautions against more extreme constructions, now under er a three-quarters at at rake at till hina fimp to kenninga, er a cubed r a t t u m r f lingra er rake it. N a three-quarters a cubed t t a three-quarters at finiska fornska l d a verka, 
a three quarters a la tumba copyright ra three quarters at na a cube na one half tt. A euro oe the ninth, license is extending a kenning to the fifth determinant, but it is out of proportion if it is extended further. Even if it can be found in the works of ancient poets, we no longer tolerate it a euro. The longest kenning found in skaldic poetry occurs in Hapgara degree in Gidrapal by A. R. Cube Dra degree S. Jarexon and reads Norse to Black Slack copyright Ma Naga F. R. S. Trafu Jim Slap paragraph N. G. V. I. R. A. Euro O. F. I. Brandisher of Blizzard of Ogress of Protection Moon of Steed of Boat Shade a Euro, which simply means warrior. Word order and comprehension Word order in Old Norse was generally freer than in modern English. This freedom is exploited to the full in skaldic verse and taken to extremes far beyond what would be natural in prose. Other words can intervene between a base word and its genitive determinant, and occasionally between the elements of a compound word. Kennings, and even whole clauses, can be interwoven. Ambiguity is usually less than it would be if an English text was subjected to the same contortions, thanks to the more elaborate morphology of Old Norse. Another factor aiding comprehension is that Old Norse kennings tend to be highly conventional. Most refer to the same small set of topics, and do so using a relatively small set of traditional metaphors. Thus a leader or important man will be characterized as generous, according to one common convention, and called an enemy of gold, attacker of treasure, destroyer of arm rings, etc. and a friend of his people. Nevertheless there are many instances of ambiguity in the corpus, some of which may be intentional, and some evidence that, rather than merely accepting it from expediency, schools favored contorted word order for its own sake. Definitions Some scholars take the term kenning broadly to include any noun substitute consisting of two or more elements, including merely descriptive epithets, while others would restrict it to metaphorical instances, specifically those where a euro a, T, e base word identifies the referent with something which it is not, except in a specially conceived relation which the poet imagines between it and the sense of the limiting element Euro PPA 248 to Euro 253. Some even exclude naturalistic metaphors such as Old English forced spend a Euro airborne of frost a Euro equals a Euro oes a Euro or winter a EWC pound a Euro o winter a meant a Euro equals a Euro us no a Euro a Euro oea metaphor is a kenning only if it contains an incongruity between the referent and the meaning of the base word. In the kenning the limiting word is essential to the figure because without it the incongruity would make any identification impossible a euro ppa 248 a euro 253. Descriptive epithets are a common literary device in many parts of the world, whereas kennings in this restricted sense are a distinctive feature of Old Norse and, to a lesser extent, Old English poetry. Snorri a euro unregistered trademark s own usage, however, Seems to fit the looser sense, a Euro OE Snorri uses the term kenning to refer to a structural device, whereby a person or object is indicated by a periphrastic description containing two or more terms a Euro, p. XXXIV. The term is certainly applied to non metaphorical phrases in Skaldska Palma L, Enzar Kenning a equal or more than degree Riyama Varitat, a Kalakrist Kning manner. A three quarters a kenning ma erga hv a kanug. A euro oe and that kenning which was written before, calling Christ the king of men, any king can have that kenning. Likewise in ha ttatal, a it a kenning a califline brak a rostu. A euro oe it is a kenning to call battle a euro spear crush a euro unregistered trademark. A euro. Snorri a euro unregistered trademark s expression kenned Haiti qualified terms appears to be synonymous with kenninger, although Broder applies this more specifically to those periphrastic epithets which don't a euro unregistered trademark t come under his strict definition of kenning. Svidlov approaches the question from a morphological standpoint. Noting that the modifying component in Germanic compound words can take the form of a genitive or a bare root. He points to behavioral similarities between genitive determinants and the modifying element in regular Old Norse compound words, such as the fact that neither can be modified by a freestanding adjective. According to this view, all kennings are formally compounds, notwithstanding widespread tmases. Semantics, kennings could be developed into extended, and sometimes vivid, metaphors, 
Tra paragraph DDUSK ta paragraph RGUFI. Jaw to horror degree far cube tama euro o shields were trodden under the hard feet of the hill to euro. Spara degree Iza a GYMIR spara degree in SE euro o and C sprayed on headland of swords a euro. Snorri calls such examples now one half govinga and exemplifies them in verse 6 of his heart ETATAL. The effect here seems to depend on an interplay of more or less naturalistic imagery and jarring artifice. But the scalds were in a Euro unregistered trademark T a verse either to arbitrary, purely decorative, use of kennings, a Euro OE that is, a ruler will be a distributor of gold even when he is fighting a battle and gold will be called the fire of the sea even when it is in the form of a man a Euro unregistered trademark S arm ring on his arm. If the man wearing a gold ring is fighting a battle on land the mention of the sea will have no relevance to his situation at all and does not contribute to the picture of the battle being described a de euro, ppa 8 a euro 9. Snorri draws the line at mixed metaphor, which he terms nkrat a euro a made monstraus a euro, and his nephew called the practice la paragraph str a euro o a fault a euro. In spite of this, it seems that a Euro o many poets did not object to and some must have preferred Baroque juxtapositions of unlike kennings and neutral or incongruous verbs in their verses a Euro, PA 332. For example here Jolk Thousis Drear a Euro Erlison, Earl, Tik Vasira Euro unregistered trademark S Blood a Euro. Sometimes there is a kind of redundancy whereby the referent of the whole kenning, or a kenning for it, is embedded. Bar me da cubed LG svar paragraph lu a euro o a brother of hostility swallow a euro equals a euro o a brother of raven a euro equals a euro o a raven a euro. Bleak myria degree en borga la equal or more than degree s a euro o a gleam harmas of the land of rings a euro equals a euro o harmas of gleam of arm a euro equals a euro o harmas of ring a euro equals a euro o leaders, nobles, men of social standing a euro. While some Old Norse kennings are relatively transparent, many depend on a knowledge of specific myths or legends. Thus the sky might be called naturalistically a copyright L care a euro oe squall vat a euro or described in mythical terms as Imi's house a euro oe imir a euro unregistered trademark s skull a euro, referring to the idea that the sky was made out of the skull of the primeval giant Ymir. Still others name mythical entities according to certain conventions without reference to a specific story, Rimi Ygr a Euro Oe Odin of Batli a Euro equals a Euro Oer a Euro, Euro. Poets in medieval Iceland even treated Christian themes using the traditional repertoire of kennings complete with allusions to heathen myths and aristocratic epithets for saints. A ra degree riama folde a Euro Oe goddess of headdresses a Euro equals a Euro Oe Saint Catherine a Euro. Kennings of the type AB, where B routinely has the characteristic A and thus this AB is tautological, tend to mean like B in that it has the characteristic A, for example shield NJA paragraph R degree Riyama, tautological because the god NJA paragraph R degree Riyama by nature has his own shield, means like NJA paragraph R degree Riyama in that he has a shield, that is warrior. A modern English example is painted Jezebel as a disapproving expression for a woman too fond of using cosmetics. Sometimes a name given to one well-known member of a species, is used to mean any member of that species. For example, Old Norse VALR means falcon, but Old Norse mythology mentions a horse named VALR, and thus in Old Norse poetry VALR is sometimes used to mean horse. A modern example of this is an ad hoc usage by a helicopter ambulance pilot, the Heathrow of hang gliders for the hills behind Hawes on Yorkshire in England, when he found the air over the emergency site crowded with hang gliders. Ellipsis, a term may be omitted from a well-known kenning, Valtiags HILDR a Euro o a hawk round a Euro unregistered trademark s Valkyrie goddess a Euro. The full expression implied here is a euro a goddess of gleam adornment of ground seat perch of hawk a euro equals a euro a goddess of gleam of arm a euro equals a euro a goddess of gold a euro equals a euro a lad a euro. The poet relies on listeners a euro unregistered trademark familiarity with such conventions to carry the meaning. Old Norse kennings in context, in the following dracube TTKVATT stanza, 
The Norwegian skald Evind Finsen Skald Spiller compares the greed of King Harald Grienfeld to the generosity of his predecessor Håkon the Good, Barum, Ullr, Babala, a moon lorks, Hauka, Allum far one half Rysvela, Fra Harkona Ravi. Now HEFR far cubed LKST are a degree of Fra cubed a degree a, far glang one half jaw degree ra three quarters a one half jar. MELDR a mar cubed a degree a holdy, melu dogs of full gene, Evan Skald a spiller, laws of a czar eight. ULLR of war leak. We carried the seed of far one half Rizvela on the mountains of Hawks during all of Haken's life. Now the enemy of the people has hidden the flower of fra cubed a degree eyes hapless slaves in the flesh of the mother of the enemy of the giantess. This might be paraphrased, O oh warrior. We carried gold on our arms during all of Haken's life. Now the enemy of the people has hidden gold in the earth. Among LAUKR war league equals sword. ULLR is the name of a god, ULLR. ULLR. A moon lork's god of sword equals warrior, perhaps addressing King Harold. This kenning follows a convention whereby the name of any god is combined with some male attribute to produce a kenning for man. HAUKA and LL Mountains of Hawks are arms, a reference to the sport of falconry. This follows a convention in which arms are called the land of the hawk. Far one half Rizvela fra seed of far one half Rizvela equals gold. This is an allusion to a legend retold in Skaldskapama L and Hra cubed LF Crookies saga in which King Rolf and his men scattered gold on the plains of the river far one half re south of Gamla Uppsala to delay their pursuers. Fra cubed a degree of far glang one half jaw degree ra three quarters a one half jar meldr flower of fra cubed a degree eyes hapless slaves alludes to the grotisa paragraph ng legend and is another kenning for gold ma cubed a degree a hold mellow dog's flesh of mother of enemy of giantess is the earth personified as a goddess who was the mother of Thor the enemy of the Jotuns Old English and other kennings. The practice of forming kennings has traditionally been seen as a common Germanic inheritance, but this has been disputed since, among the early Germanic languages, their use is largely restricted to Old Norse and Old English poetry. A possible early kenning for gold is attested in the ancient Nordic runic inscription on the Tjerka paragraph C. Brachiate. Kennings are virtually absent from the surviving corpus of continental West Germanic verse. The Old Saxon Helian contains only one example, La registered trademark K Hamo a Euro O Ebody Re Menta Euro equals a Euro early body a Euro, a compound which, in any case, is normal in West Germanic and North Germanic prose. Old English kennings are all of the simple type, possessing just two elements, for example for a Euro US a Euro CL Ra DA Euro O Sail Rawada Euro, Swan Ra DA Euro O S when Rawada Euro. Bar degree we are euro a er bath we are euro, hen ra da euro a ul rawada euro, hyl we are euro a ul we are euro. Most Old English examples take the form of compound words in which the first element is uninflected, here form candle a euro o eski candle a euro equals a euro o eth suna euro. Kennings consisting of a genitive phrase occur too, but rarely. Heyo funza and a euro oski a euro unregistered trademark s gil a euro equals a euro o eth suna euro. Old English poets often place a series of synonyms in apposition, and these may include kennings as well as the literal referent, ra a degree garmor three quarters a load, helm sildinga. A euro o e rothkar, helm of the sildings, said. A euro. Modern usage. John Steinbeck used an approximation of Kennings in his 1950 novella Burning Bright, which was adapted into a Broadway play that same year. According to Steinbeck biographer J. Parini, the experiment is well intentioned, but it remains idiosyncratic to the point of absurdity. Steinbeck invented compound phrases, such as wife loss, and friend right, and laughter starving, that simply seem eccentric. See also, Elegant Variation, Haiti, List of Kennings, Metonymy, Senec Doc, Notes. References, Broder, Arthur Gilchrist. The Meaning of Snorio Euro Unregistered Trademark S Categories. University of California Publications in Modern Philology 36. Broder, Arthur Gilchrist. The Art of Beowulf. 
University of California Press. Fawkes, Anthony. Poetic Inspiration in Old Norse and Old English Poetry. Dorothea Koch Memorial Lecture in Northern Studies delivered at University College London November 28, 1997. Viking Society for Northern Research. Fawkes, Anthony. Edda, Skaldska Palmer L. 1. Introduction, Text and Notes. Viking Society for Northern Research. Fawkes, Anthony. Edda, Skaldska Palmer L. 2. Glossary and Index of Names. Viking Society for Northern Research. Foote, Peter and Wilson, DM The Viking Achievement. Book Club Associates. London. Gardner, Thomas. A Year of the Old English Kenning, a characteristic feature of Germanic poetical diction. A Euro Unregistered Trademark Modern Philology 67 2, PPA 109 A Euro 117. Gordon, E. V. An Introduction to Old Norse. Second ed. Revised by A. A. Taylor. Oxford. Huesler, Andreas. Dial Germanisch Dichtung. Second ed. Potsdam. Halton, Neil. A Euro Some Homonyms in the Old Norse at Latvia Degree or Euro Unregistered Trademark. M. Allen 895, German Issue. Krauss, Wolfgang. Die Sprache der Edition Runen in Schriften. Karl Winter Verlag. Heidelberg. Kuhn, Hans. A Euro The Ramir Poet and His Audience C. Euro Unregistered Trademark. Saga Book 236. Lua Jantina Helena. Runes Around the North Sea and on the Continent AD 150-700, Texts and Contexts. University of Groningen Dissertation. Lua Jenga, Tinnik. Texts and Contexts of the Oldest Runic Inscriptions. Leiden, Koning Klidge Brill NV. ISBN A 90-04-12396-2A, Miesner, Rudolf. Die Kenninger der Skalden, in Beitrag zur Skaldischen Politik. Leipzig. Svidlov, Elia 5 Euro OE Kenning Morphology, Towards a Formal Definition of the Skaldic Kenning, or Kennings and Adjectives A Euro 13th International Saga Conference, Durham and York. External links, Skaldic Project A Euro Index of Kennings, Jar Paragraph Ramundrund, Lexicon of Kennings A Euro The Domain of Battle. Septentrionalia, the medieval north.